More than six million people remain without power along the East Coast, and at least 16 deaths are being blamed on the storm. Kieran Khalid has more. Sandy barrels ashore with fireworks, flooding communities, pummeling beaches and the homes that line them, even dumping snow in higher terrain. The one-time hurricane is now a deadly superstorm. Well, this is pretty bad, uh, no question about it. I mean, we go back 92, we had a northeast here. But, uh, you know, and it certainly has the potential to be bad for a while. This crane atop a New York City skyscraper was no match for the ferocious winds. Crews are monitoring the danger. Buildings nearby have been evacuated, but until conditions improve, there's little that can be done. But the instructions to all of them are, uh, don't try to be a hero and uh, um, lose a life over this. If it, something were to fall, just make sure that it doesn't hurt anybody. Up and down the coast, it's time to hunker down and wait. For tonight, the uh, watchword is stay inside. Don't go outside, don't go on the road. Uh, stay put and let's uh, weather these next 12 hours together. The storm made landfall Monday evening, smashing flooding records. Some of the country's largest public transit systems are silent. Major tunnels flooded and the New York Stock Exchange closed again Tuesday because of the storm. Emergency shelters are available for those who had to flee ahead of Sandy's arrival. It's unclear when the waters will recede far enough for them to return. The water behind me at its peak reached almost 14 feet, breaking a record of 10 feet set back in 1960. Just one example of how Sandy is exceeding expectations. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Kieran Khalid.